Now we want to be able to subtract quickly. We don't want to have to use a number line every time. So here we've got 8 minus 5. So we know that when we're subtracting, we can find the difference. We can count on from the smaller number to the larger number. And I find that easier. I find it easier to count forwards rather than backwards. So let's count forwards. So we say 5 before we put any fingers up, because that's our smaller number. And then we count on 6, 7, 8. And we stop at 8 because 8 is our larger number. So then I can see that I've got three fingers held up. So our answer is 3. And I can check my answer to make sure that I've got it right by counting as I put down my fingers. So I say 5, and then I put my fingers down as I count on from 5, 6, 7, 8. I've got to 8, and my last finger went down as I said 8, so I've got the right answer. Now I have 14 take away 9. Pause the video and see if you can work that out by counting forwards. So I start by saying 9, and then I count on, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now I've got to 14, I can see that I've got 5 fingers held up. So 14 take away 9 is 5. And I can check that. So I say 9, and then I put my fingers down as I count on from 9. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now I have 17 minus 11. So let's start on 11, then I can start counting on. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So there I can see that I'm holding up six fingers, so my answer is six. And I can check as I put my fingers down. I say 11, and then I count on 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. My last finger went down, as I said the number I'm subtracting from, so I know that I've got the right answer.